What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 5 stretch resolutions to boost your FPS and lower your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. Now if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go to the item shop and use my supporter creator code SIVE. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now before we get straight into the video guys, this program home.gg can boost your FPS and significantly lower your input delay. Now if you guys do not know, I made a video on this like a few videos ago and uh, basically I showed how the program looks and how it works and all that. Um, I can put that video in the description for you guys, but I'll also be putting a link to that website to download it if you guys want to try it. Um, you do get 10 optimizations max on your free trial, uh, but if you guys buy it, you get unlimited tweaks. Um, but I highly recommend you guys try the program out because this program significantly lowered my input delay and gave me a boost in FPS and made my computer smooth. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want to try it, make sure to go to the link in the description. I will be putting it there. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so for this first resolution, we got 1720 by 1080 Now this stretch resolution is really good because your game doesn't look really stretched. It's only stretched a little bit and you get to have that advantage where the opponents look more stretched. Which gives you an uh, advantage for hitting your shots and stuff in the game. And it also boosts your FPS a little bit, which is pretty nice. So I recommend all of you guys who doesn't want to like play on too much of a stretch resolution to lose too much FOV. To use this stretch resolution because you don't really lose much FOV. It gives you FPS boost and um it even lowers your delay and you can even hit your shots way more than you probably would on 1920 by 1080 you'll be surprised at how much of an advantage you got with this stretch just because of the fact that it'll be easier to hit your shots but uh yeah let's get straight to the next resolution all right guys so for this next resolution which is 1656 by 1080 as you guys can see on screen it's not much of a big difference from the last resolution which was 1720 by 1080 but this resolution is a bit bigger and you do lose a little bit more fov and you do get a boost of fps a little bit more but i feel like this resolution is for all of you guys who don't really care about the fps and just like the stretch resolution and just don't want to see too much pixels i recommend you guys use this but i wouldn't recommend you guys to use this if you guys are trying to go for fps i mean it does boost your fps so i mean you guys can try it and see if you guys like it or not but i've tried it and it boosted my fps a little bit but um yeah off to the next resolution for this next stretch resolution we are looking at 1433 by 900 now this resolution is pretty nice now it's stretch which gives you the advantage of hitting your shots and everything it'll be easier to hit your shots uh, especially in the head and also if you compare it to the other resolutions it doesn't look much different as you guys can see but the only difference i would say is that it probably gives you the most fps out of all of them i tried it myself and i usually use it on my channel my videos um it's a pretty good resolution it gave me a boost in fps i remember like when i was playing on the other stretch like i can see my fps it was like you know maybe like around 200 hitting 300 and then i go on this stretch and it gives me like 380 which is pretty nice and this isn't creative so obviously it's going to be different in game but it's pretty nice i recommend you guys to use it. it it gives you lower input delay and it gives you high fps only thing you would have to worry about like usual is the fov but other than that the stretch is pretty good for you guys to use i highly recommend you guys use it okay so this next resolution is 1050 by 900 now basically this resolution is the same one as the last one just a bit more stretched um it does have the same amount of pixels but probably a little bit lower comparing this to the other resolutions you can tell that this is like the most stretched resolution so far in this video so i mean if you guys want to use it i encourage you guys to use it because it gives you the stretch advantage but you do lose a lot of fov but it does improve your fps and give you lower input delay um so i do recommend you guys use this um it definitely is going to be really beneficial for you low-end pc players out there because it will boost your fps and stuff all right guys so for this next resolution we are taking a look at 1024 by 768 now you guys might already know this resolution this resolution is popular for low-end pc players and it's really good to use for low-end pc players um if you are currently a low-end pc player i recommend you guys use this because it will improve your performance overall in the game it will give you best uh better fps i mean the fov is bad but if you guys are struggling with fps this is the resolution to use and it would decrease your input delay and all of that um it's pretty nice now i will say compared to the other ones it's not too stretched as you see the other the last resolution was kind of more stretched than this one but the resolution is really good um you can hit your shots easier with this resolution too like usual from the stretch you know advantage and stuff but the only downside is just that there's just you know you lose a lot of fov but that's pretty much it you get a boost in fps and lower your input delay 
and that's the only thing that's really you know good about it if you guys enjoy the video make sure you guys subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a video for you guys i will be putting out tweaks my next video will be based on tweaks for you guys um i will be uploading more consistently more frequently for you guys i know i haven't been doing that and uh, i apologize i've just been you know a little busy but i will be staying on track um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh yeah see you in the next one